Welcome to the Adhikari training on instant PAN card service by Spice Money. In this training, we will learn about PAN card, how to apply for instant PAN card for your customers and its benefits. Also, you will know some important things to remember while applying for the instant PAN card for your customers. Let us know more about PAN card. PAN card means a permanent account number, a unique identity card of an individual and is considered critical to do any kind of financial transactions. A PAN card is valid for a lifetime and only one PAN number is allotted to a person. Let us know more about what are the benefits of applying for an instant PAN card. Spice Money Dikari can help their customers to apply for and instantly get a new PAN card through the Spice Money platform. It will be an instant application that is the customer will receive the PAN card immediately and can also order a physical copy if desired. Get instant PAN card made from your customers without any physical documents and only through their Aadhaar card. To apply for an instant PAN card, Adhikari must have a biometric machine and also he can do authentication through OTP. For an instant PAN card, the application or the customer must pay some specified amount which will be deducted from the Spice Money wallet of the Adhikari. After the amount is deducted, the Adhikari can charge the same from the customer. Spice Money Adhikaris can apply for instant PAN cards for their customers in few simple steps. Let's learn about them. Adhikari must log into Spice Money Adhikari app or B2B web portal with his user ID and password. We have done further process through B2B portal. Click on apply instant PAN card tile, which will take the Adhikari to the home page of the PAN card service. Adhikari can check details like service details, process of applying for a PAN card, what are the precautions to be taken while applying for a PAN card and also the details of frequently asked questions. Click on apply instant PAN card, read the terms and conditions carefully and click on agree. The Adhikari will be redirected to the Relegate page where he she needs to fill in the details of the applicant or the customer for an instant PAN card. In the application type, select EKYC PAN New Application. Select individual in the category. In the PAN card type, choose the option as per the wish of the customer from physical PAN card or e-PAN card. Enter the details of the customer such as selecting the title, his last name, his first name, middle name, date of birth, gender. Customer's name that will be printed on PAN card will be auto-filled according to the first column. Enter the mobile number of the customer. Enter his email ID. Enter the name of the place and click on submit button. The details of the customer filled in by the Adhikari in the first step will be auto-filled on the NSDL page such as the name of the applicant, date of birth, gender, etc. Now Adhikari will need to enter the Aadhaar number of the applicant and give authorization. After entering the details, click on submit button. Please note, apart from this, no other details can be edited. After submission, the customer filled details will appear, applicant's name, date of birth, gender, etc. Remember that other than this, no other details can be edited. Adhikari should enter the name of the customer as would be printed on the applicant's PAN card. Click on Next. If the customer is known by other name, Adhikari can select the option Yes or No. If Yes is selected, then Adhikari will have to fill in some details of the customer such as title, last name, first name, middle name. After filling in the details, Adhik Adhikari can click on Next. Now Adhikari will fill in the details of the parents of the customer. If the mother of the customer is a single parent and if the customer wants to give only the mother's details then select yes and fill in only the mother's details then the father details are not required. If the customer wants to give the details of both the mother and father then fill in the details of the father first. Father's last name, first name, middle name, fill in the father's details again in the column shown. Now fill in the mother's details, mother's last name, first name, middle name, refill the details of the mother's in the column shown. Choose the option according to whose name the customer wants to be kept on his PAN card, mother's name or father's. Click on next. Now fill in other details of the customer. Select a source of income. The customer can also choose to select multiple options. If there is no source of income, then choose no income. Enter area or STD code. Customer's communication address will be auto-selected. The residential details of the customer will be auto-filled. The details are fetched from the applicant's or the customer's Aadhaar card and cannot be edited. If customer is salaried employee, 
then his her office address details are mandatory to be filled enter the name of the office and also fill in the rest of the details adhikari must select the appropriate option from yes or no on the basis of inputs given by customer for appointing representative sc click on next enter adhikari eo code details to search for the eo code adhikari can select indian citizens state or union territory city on selecting the city the eo code details will be displayed on the bottom of the form adhikari can click on the search option after which the details will be auto populated click on next now fill in the address detail of the customer on this screen adhikari can see the poi that is proof of identity and poa that is proof of address and dov that is date of birth details of the customer auto fetched from the aadhar number provided in the first step click on submit adhikari must cross check all the details of the customer before the final submission such as the name of the customer date of birth parents details address etc also get all the details cross check from the customer if you want to edit something in the details then you can edit the details by clicking on edit after cross checking the details click on confirm now adhikari has two options to complete the ekyc authentication process for the customer ekyc authentication through otp or ekyc authentication through biometric if the applicant wants to get a ekyc authentication done through otp based ekyc then adhikari shall select the option shown an otp will be sent to the mobile number of the customer to validate the details as per the ui tai record an otp will be sent via sms on the mobile number provided by the customer adhikari has to take that otp from the customer and enter it here click on submit otp based ekyc authentication will be completed successfully if the applicant wants to get a ekyc authentication done using biometric based ekyc then adhikari shall select the option shown the adhikari can authenticate the details of the applicant using any of the supported biometric machines select the biometric machine place the applicant's finger on the machine and scan click on submit and validate the details as per ui dai records biometric based ekyc authentication will be completed successfully you can complete the process of ekyc authentication by choosing either of the two options after the successful completion of the application the e sign process has to be completed adhikari will have to take the e signature of the customer through aadhar based e sign service using the system for which the adhikari again has two options otp based e sign or biometric based e sign enter the aadhar number of the customer and click on send otp to complete the otp based e sign process an otp will be sent via sms to the aadhar linked mobile number of the customer to validate the details as per ui dai records adhikari has to enter the otp received via sms by taking it from the customer click on verify otp otp based e sign authentication will be completed If the customer wants the biometric based e sign then enter the aadhar number of the customer the adhikari will need to authenticate the applicant's details using any supported biometric machine and validate the details as per ui dai records select the biometric machine tick the check box click on capture click okay after the fingerprint is successfully captured the successful message will be shown on the screen click okay after the biometric is validated the message of e sign authentication successful will be shown on the screen you can complete the process of e sign by choosing either of the two options after completion of the ekyc and e sign authentication process the amount will be deducted from the adhikari's wallet and the application number will be generated adhikari must share this application number with the applicant so through these simple steps it is very easy for adhikari to help their customers apply for an instant pan card While applying for the instant pan card for the customer the adhikari must take care of these critical points like the details of the customer must be as per his aadhar card enter the customer's email id and the mobile number as per his aadhar card only enter valid otp or biometric details of the customer as per his uidi records adhikari must use only authorized biometric machines like morpho morpho local host precision or mantra While applying for a PAN card enter all the details in block letters that is capital letters only after filling out the PAN card application adhikari must verify the details themselves and with the customer to avoid any errors adhikari should also ensure that the email id of the customer is active and must ask the customer about the same adhikari must avoid noting down the sensitive information of the customer like aadhar number or otp etc and keeping with themselves 
Never enter your email ID or mobile number instead of customer's mail ID or mobile number. Never enter the wrong OTP or biometric authentication details. While applying for the PAN card of the married woman, ensure to write no one else's name except her father's name. Also be aware that the person whose PAN card is already made should not apply for PAN card again. Inform the customer that once a PAN number is allocated to a person, new PAN number cannot be allocated to her or him. But in case the old PAN card is lost or there is any mistake in it, he can submit a re-request for the same PAN card or get it edited. Thank you for completing the Adhikari Academy training. Dear Spice Money Adhikari, please keep changing your Spice Money login password from time to time every month and it is also suggested that the password should be strong enough such that it should have one capital alphabet, one small alphabet, one digit and one special character. Never put your name or your date of birth in the password.